Today, I want to let you know that this thing in serving God is not about routine religion. It's about relationship. It's about revelation. It's about transformation. Let's talk about it. Closer to God Ministries. Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, closer to the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we have to give him all the glory. He's the reason why I'm here, standing up as strong as I am, blood flowing through my body, you know, breath in my lungs, able to give you this message. It is very easy to fall into the routine religion. And what I mean by this is you get so caught up in the activities, you get so caught up in the, the religiousness of it, meaning the practices of it that you do on a consistent basis. I got to go here on this day. I got to do this on that day. You know, I need to listen to this when this happens. We got to get out of the routine of religion in order to break free, in order to experience a real relationship. Because chances are, you know, the average person has experienced routine religion. And when you think about a lot of the deception that scripture warns us about of man's religion, we have to get out of that. And we have to learn what is the will of God by studying the word of God, for hearing the word of God. And let me let me remind you on this. It's very easy to hear somebody say something and it sounds good. It tickles your ears and you say, amen, hallelujah. But did you go back and fact check it? Did you go back and make sure that word was pure? Make sure that word came from sound doctrine, from a place of, you know, scripture. But most people don't do that. And when you think about it, it's very easy to fall into the routines of religion. I went to Bible school. I went to church. You know, I, I, I heard the gospel songs. Why weren't your lips moving? Why weren't you giving praise? You see what I'm saying? Why was your body just as locked up as it can be? You see what I'm saying? Why do you have a problem being bound in a place where you're supposed to be free? You see what I'm saying? This is These are all of the different conflicts people will face when you are in a place of routine religion. It's about impacting people. It's about giving them a message that is the will of God, that is the word of God that impacts them in their life. It's not about whether they like it or not. Today, I wanna read to you Romans chapter 12, verse two. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Some people have no discernment. If it's not their will, it's not what they want, then they can't discern whether it's the will of God or it's not for them. And like I said, this is not about routine religion. This is about relationship. You having that intimate relationship. When is the last time that you spent some time talking to your daddy? You see what I'm saying? Outside of routine religion, when is the last time that you have bent your knees? If it's not you laying down being comfortable, if it's not you having $100 pairs of shoes on your feet, I guarantee you most people don't want to get in an uncomfortable place to talk to their God. Most people don't want to be in a place of peace, a place of quiet to go somewhere that he has led you in order to talk to him. When is the last time that you have truly talked to your father and you wonder why you don't have a relationship? When we talk about revelation, you know, this thing being truly about revelation, people will forever have good ideas, but vision comes from revelation. When you have a vision, this is because God has revealed something to you. And I told you, it's like the most cinematic movie trailer. And in order to carry out the will of God in that vision, you're going to have to exercise your faith on a daily basis. And when you are not willing to do it, then there will be no blessing that comes from it. There will be no perseverance. There will be no endurance. Everybody has a good idea. I've had millions of them. But I tell you this, they were self-centered around me, around servicing me. What can I get out of it? But when God gives you a vision, he lets you lead this thing from the front. But the crazy thing about it is, 
it's it's so magnificent that it's no problem for you to give him all the glory in it. Because without him, you would have never had it. You would have just had another good idea. And the last part I want to touch on is transformation. Oftentimes when you get into routine religion, if there is no transformation, if there is no relationship, if there is no revelation, you can spend 30 years in routine religion and the change won't be evident in your life. Nobody or even God won't be able to see the evidence of the Holy Spirit moving in your life, governing you on a daily basis. You say, hey, I did that yesterday and I had to repent for that last night and that didn't feel good. That burdened my heart. You know, you're waking up saying, God, you know, help me not do this same thing today. I know the Holy Spirit is with me. Help me fight off this foolishness. You see what I'm saying? I'm tired of being a sinner. But when you fall into routine religion, the evidence is not there. It's not about what your lips say is the evidence. It's about those actions on a 24 Four, seven bases, 365, 168 hours a week. This is the evidence. Some people will say, hey, I went to church. I sang some gospel songs. I did this. I did that. And he's going to say, part ways from me for I never knew you. You did not do the basics of what I told you to do. You don't know how many people fall into routine religion and then go out there and hate their brothers and sisters. You know why? Because I was one of them. I was one of them. Didn't treat people like I wanted to be treated. You know, the evidence of God being with me wasn't evident in the way that I lived my life. It wasn't evident in the things that I was doing. It wasn't evident in my actions, in my communications. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference between just all out here struggling and you're in a place of struggle, but God is helping you. This is the evidence. This is the transformation. This is the revelation that comes through fasting, through prayer, getting on bent knees. See, it was never about routine religion. Don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted because there's a scripture out there that's God, that's God telling people that, hey, I know we're going to have people that come to me saying, Lord, Lord, I did this for you. I did that for you. And he's going to tell them to depart ways because I never knew you. Think about how many people in the religious sector that applies to. They give you this candy sugar down message and they go out and live this life of sin. Don't even repent for it. Don't even tell you you should be repenting for it. And the only thing they're doing is running this thing like a business. You see what I'm saying? It's not about routine religion. It's about relationship. It's about transformation. It's about revelation. And in every one of my videos, I tell you the same thing. Study the word of God so you can find you approved. So you can find you approved. If you don't go back and check what I gave you today in the King James Version, the New International Version, the English Standard Version, I'll leave a link in this video talking about all the different Bible versions and how, how much has been lost in the English translation. You have to go back and study this. Just hearing and saying, amen, hallelujah, nodding your head, eating peppermints, ain't going to do it. You got to spend some time studying. You have to spend some time studying. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I can't work that out for you. No matter how much message you listen to, no matter how much scripture you read, until you get ready to work these out yourself, you will be falling into the ways of routine religion and you have never or and never will be entering into relationship with your father, relationship with the son, you know, revelation, God giving you a vision instead of all of these different ideas and then transformation. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight.